When it comes to the auto industry and the performance of automobile companies, management is really everything. So when Toyota announced it was changing its CEO from Akio Toyota to Kogi Sato, it was just obvious that the car industry as we know it would never be the same again, thanks to this defining step by the single largest automaker on the planet. Toyota dominates the car market worldwide, and chances are, if you've never heard of this super popular car brand, you've probably sat in one unawares. So it's just not the norm for leading car companies with as much future potential as Toyota to take slow steps towards adopting viable and market-deciding ideas like the fully electric concept, which is definitely best positioned to be the future of everything road transportation. It's really no news that clean energy is the new energy, and this shift from fully ice-powered or hybrid to a fully EV driving experience has come to stay. With EV giants like Tesla and even smaller rival car companies bursting at the seams with mind-blowing EV ideas and experiences for the everyday car user, it just goes without saying that Toyota could fall behind if it doesn't join the trend and take the lead in it. For starters, it's no longer news that Toyota doesn't have a fully electric car on the market, and this is one reason why industry experts and even consumers have criticized the popular automaker. So with Toyota announcing a change in what happens to be the most key position for decision-making in the company, it's just normal for us to expect the top-selling car brand would make a grand entrance into the EV car event that's had us long anticipating its appearance. But from what's come to the fore just a week before Toyota's new CEO resumed office, it seems the company has plans that are a little different from what we would have thought was the obvious reason for the change in senior management. So what does Toyota's new CEO have planned for the leading automaker? Just before going into the details of what Kogi Sato has shared about what should be the company's future endeavors and long-term plans, let's begin with the beliefs that have guided the course of the company for over 40 years. We're talking about Toyota's former CEO, Akio Toyota's beliefs. To begin with, for the 13 years of his being at the helm of affairs in the company since taking over as president in 2009, Akio Toyota has never believed that the future of the automobile industry is fully electric. And while it may be by all indications, he's been stoic about his views of the whole battle to reduce carbon emissions to zero. For Toyota, the enemy has never been internal combustion engines, but the emission of carbon. And so he's always been more positive about hydrogen-powered cars than fully electric cars. According to Toyota, fully electric cars will take way longer to gain any reasonable ground in the market. So for him, the media doesn't exactly portray the truth about how soon it would take for EVs to become as common as ICEs are today. So while it's been rumored that several top-level executives in the company have hinted on the company's long-term plans to get all electric vehicles out in the market, hurrying to get it done has never been a part of the plan as Toyota believes there are other ways to tackle the carbon emission problem and that not all countries will be willing or able to support fully electric vehicles anytime soon, owing to the infrastructural demands that come along with fully adopting all electric vehicles. But has Toyota been right all along? And do you think Toyota will be left behind as a result of this decision? Are there any chances that fully electric vehicles will take over worldwide transportation soon? Fast forward to the present moment, and Toyota is about to get a younger CEO, who, in Toyota's words, has the ability to go beyond the limits I can break through. So will Toyota's new CEO be adopting the fully electric concept? Disappointingly, while Sato does not rule out the fact that EVs have a place in the auto industry's future, Toyota is not hurrying to meet up with the remainder of the leading EV car companies. In fact, Kogi Sato shocked the world when he announced that Toyota's steps into the future will be built on the foundation of hydrogen-powered vehicles. And this only means the company will continue to invest in pushing its hydrogen-powered vehicles. So although Toyota will be changing its CEO come April 1st, the company's all-encompassing strategy remains rock-solid and unchanging. The leading automaker believes it's best to provide cars that cut across all three energy sources – hydrogen, fossil fuels, and electricity. So Toyota will continue to roll out its partly electric, partly engine-powered hybrids at present, while still investing in its hydrogen power vision and looking to a future that incorporates hydrogen-powered cars, fully electric cars, and hybrids consisting of both. For Kogi Sato, it's essential that Toyota maintains this position of flexibility. That said, there's no doubt that the world's leading automaker is charting its own course on what seems to be a really strange path into the future. But is this idea really feasible? Hydrogen-powered vehicles have already gone beyond being experimented with to being sold by Toyota. Toyota's first fully hydrogen-powered car, the Mirai, is sold only in California in the United States and not in other states, chiefly due to a lack of infrastructure to support it. 
And while the car has had some degree of success since it performs well, here's why EVs still beat Toyota's hydrogen-powered car in sales and feasibility. The reason is infrastructure, as we mentioned earlier. Taking steps toward a zero-emission future means a whole lot of infrastructure will have to be engineered to facilitate the change. And while this is a massive investment to say the least, EVs relatively stand a better ground since leading companies that are setting up power stations like Tesla can take advantage of the already existing electrical grid. And alternatively, car owners can power their cars at home. However, the case is not the same for Toyota's hydrogen-powered vehicles as the company would need to spend more money setting up relevant infrastructure from the ground up if it's ever going to sell more of its hydrogen-powered cars. But Toyota isn't showing any signs of slowing down in its chase to actually get hydrogen-powered cars on the market and has revealed plans to invest in infrastructure so more people can make use of these cars. Which is why the Japanese auto industry leader has established partnerships with companies like Kawasaki Heavy Industries and Iwatani Corporations, which are involved with manufacturing hydrogen fuel and building fueling networks. With these, a question that's probably been on the minds of many around the world is why Toyota has refused to have a fully electric car on the market up until now. If Toyota really has plans to work on fully electric vehicles, why wait? For Toyota, producing fully electric vehicles is just one of many possible solutions to the problem of carbon emissions that the world is trying to solve. And this means EVs are really not that special or something to be in a hurry about. The Japanese auto industry leader is not new to blazing the trail when it comes to defining new courses and developing manufacturing philosophies that actually work efficiently. Examples of these are the Just-in-Time, Kanban, and 5S organizational housekeeping systems, which were all revolutionary creations of the leading automaker. So ultimately, Toyota hopes to satisfy the needs of different customers in different markets with its all-inclusive strategy. And speaking of its all-encompassing strategy, EVs are still ultimately a part of it, although not an immediate one. Interestingly, even if Toyota decided to build an all-electric car anytime soon, it would not be an immediate process since Toyota doesn't even have a platform to satisfactorily support fully electric cars as of yet. According to Trade Magazine, this is because Toyota is most likely not satisfied with its ETNGA platform, which it used in its first hybrid EVs. This means Toyota is most likely beginning its EV journey from scratch. At this point, the Japanese automaker has a lot it could learn from Tesla going forward. And according to Automotive News, Toyota sure knows this. That's why a group of Toyota engineers recently disassembled and studied a Tesla Model Y after being stunned by the success of Tesla's Model Y and 3. The engineers were amazed by the quality of work Tesla has running in its name. Matching Tesla's work against Toyota's current ETNGA platform even brings more of the platform's shortcomings to the fore. Compared to Tesla's design, the ETNGA platform has too many parts and is heavier, which means a lower range and fewer features. However, Automotive News reports that Toyota's new CEO has begun focusing on developing an all-new platform for Toyota's EVs, which should be in the works anytime in 2025, thanks to the information shared by the publication concerning Toyota's upgrade to the company's Kentucky factory, where the EVs will be produced. Toyota's choice to stick with investing in hydrogen-powered cars is not without good reason. And that's because, ultimately, hydrogen cells are better than conventional battery technology when it comes to environmental impact. While EV car batteries give off environmentally unfriendly acids from the reactions in used EV batteries, hydrogen cells give off just water and heat as their byproducts. Additionally, they are fast charging, and on a per-unit mass basis, hydrogen offers significantly more energy than other common fuels in use today.